Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and I think I found the Raspberry Pi alternative, and it's called the Espresso Bin. So let's get started. All right, so why do I say this is the Raspberry Pi alternative? Because this guy can deliver everything that the Raspberry Pi cannot. Let's start off with some of the main features, which is the three port gigabit LAN, USB 3.0, you know, that's a huge factor, and a SATA port for hard drives. Most importantly, what I like about this guy is the MPCIe, that you can actually install other devices on this guy. So the version I have right now is one gigabit, and the CPU is a dual core 64 bit 1.2 gigahertz, which is very comparable to the Raspberry Pi, slightly slower, but you're getting all these extra features. So the price starts off at $39 for the lowest model with half a gig of RAM. And depending on what you need to do, you can step it up all the way up to two gigs of RAM, which is roughly, I think, was $79. You can get this with four gigs built-in flash. All of them support um, micro SD card, and you could boot from basically any device, USB, micro SD, or built-in flash. It has 80 pins of GPIO, double what Raspberry Pi has. The only thing that this guy does not have is graphic card. It does not have any input. You can't stick a monitor on this guy or anything at all. Now I was able to compile this guy to support DisplayPort, which is one of these USB to video card things if you really need the video. But ultimately, I wouldn't even be using this guy for that. I would mainly be using this for a NAS server or a Plex server or router or something. This, this is mainly geared for those applications. Now this also uses U-Boot, which is a bootloader method to boot other operating systems, which means you could use almost any distribution like Arch Linux, Ubuntu, uh, OpenWRT. All those distributions of Linux can be installed on one of these SD cards or inside this guy and it could be booted using U-Boot. So it's much easier to get this guy up and going than Raspberry Pi trying to change the whole operating system to use like something that it's not supported. Now, this guy could be powered both ways, one through the USB port, which is five volts, or the barrel connector. But if you use the five volts, you won't be able to power the hard drives or whatever it is that's on this board. Ultimately, when you first start it up and get it going, there wouldn't be any interface for you to interact with. You would need to use the micro USB and plug it to a computer and set it up as a serial connector. Now, I had this device for about two weeks now, and I've been playing around with it like crazy. I've compiled almost 50 different kernels for this just to see what I could do. My main operating system, my main distribution was Ubuntu. I haven't really changed from that. Now I used a little bit of whatever it came with this guy. Um, I quickly switched over and jumped into Ubuntu. I installed Arch in this for like a hot minute, but I switched back to Ubuntu just to play around with it even more. On their website itself, it has a lot of guides to get you going if you want to change the operating system or change whatever it is. If you guys have any questions or want me to show you how to get Ubuntu installed on this, whatever it is, hit up in the comments below and I'll make a tutorial for that. Now we're talking more about the MPCIe. This guy could basically support a lot of devices. Now if you think that you can only connect one SATA port, you can actually go buy one of the MPCIe SATA connectors and hook up an extra four hard drives. So this would be a really good NAS server if you're willing to you know, buy that device. Two, I actually have one of these devices which is a MPCIe to a regular PCIe connector which means that I would be able to connect a graphic card on this guy or even other connect no, other devices. Now, what I have here currently is a Wi-Fi adapter and Bluetooth, which you could purchase with the Expresso bin kit. The lowest price that you could get this for is $39, which is a really good price for what you're getting on this guy. Ultimately, what I want to do with this guy in the future is get one of those MPCIEs to like four SATA connectors, hook up like five hard drives, do a RAID in there, then serve as a NAS server plus Plex. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions about this device, hit it in the comments below. And stay tuned for videos more on this guy where I start building it up and turn it into a NAS server and stuff. If you guys haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button and that little bell notification so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my Nerdcave, hack till it hurts.